this year we've received about 600,000 less from local government. So last year was the last year we received any COVID related government funding. When COVID was going on, they were just pouring money out for services, whatever, they had the money for it, which was great. This year, because there's no more COVID funding, we're, we're receiving about $600,000 less in funding from local government. So already it's a tight year. And so basically we came down to, we would have to reduce our services here by 80% for three months. That means 2,000 people getting 30,000 less services and resources over that three month period. And uh, it's heartbreaking because, you know, as you know, a lot, of, a lot of the people we serve here, especially our seniors, there's no other option for them. I mean, a lot of our services are even helping to keep them alive, you know. Um, so I have a meeting with all of our staff and I'm like, hey, um, we, uh, we're going to have to you know, reduce our services for three months. And everyone was like just emotional or people in tears. You know, I was almost in tears because it's, it's, you know, these are, these are people we know. We know their names, we know their birthdays, we know their, their stories, you know. So anyway, all, the only thing we could do was pray. You know, that's all we had. I mean, we, there was no other way. During this time, around the same time all this was happening, um, someone saw our trailer out in Sanford, which is like 30 minutes north of Orlando. And uh, they were like, oh man, I, I like this. I want to talk to them and see how I can, I can help and help expand the mission here in Sanford, whatever. So um, she, they were like, hey, give me the name of the person that runs this. So then they gave them my name, Eric Camarillo. And she's like, wait a minute. I went to school with him. I actually did my master's program with her. And she's like, okay, I want to help them more. Like, let me reach out. So she emailed me that week. Hey, I want to meet, you know, in the following week. I want to talk about how we can work together. I thought she was reaching out because there are all these news stories going out about how we're shutting down. She hadn't even seen any of that. She had no idea any of that was happening. So we're, we're meeting the next Thursday. The Wednesday night before she sees a news story. She's like, wait a minute. Like, okay. We got to see how we can help. So she emails her family. It's a family foundation. How can we, how can we um, support them, whatever? So they're like all thinking about it. So we have our meeting on Thursday and I explain everything that's going on with her, with, with Salt. And um, she's like, hey, I have a board meeting soon. I'll, I'll share with my family and we'll see what, you know, what we can do. And so um, when she walked into that board meeting, her father came to her and was like, okay, how much do they need and when can we get it to them? So they ended up giving us a check for $300,000. So not only making up the $130,000 loss, but more than that. So that was just days before we were supposed to shut down the, the 80%. It was days before. And so it was a huge testament to what God can do out of nowhere. And she didn't even reach out because of it. She just reached out because she saw something, felt impressed to reach out, you know? So that was like... A, it's like even more confirmation that God was involved. And I just love how he works. Like you met, you had this uh, acquaintance that had no idea, you know, that God was going to work a few years later. It was like, hey, you guys met for a reason. Yeah. In a couple years. Yeah, right. Gonna... We were in our master's program together, which was an all online program. We oh, never cool. met in person. Yeah. She just saw my name. She's like, I went to school with oh, him. Oh, no way. That, like, that's it. You know, like, it's just got the way God yeah. organizes everything yeah, so for cool. the exact moment. We had, when the news found out we were shutting down, they all did news stories about us shutting down. Now that we weren't shutting down, they were like, wait, we can't keep these news stories out there. We got to do new news stories now to talk about how you're not shutting down. So then they all six did follow-up news stories about what God did to keep us open. And some of the news stories included what we talked about with God, some didn't. But one in particular actually did include what God did in the headline. It, the headline was, homeless services continue in Orlando, quote, we prayed for a miracle. When we have no answer or no idea of what's going to happen, he, he does things, you know. And now this month will be our biggest cash flow month in the history of SALT. 